I see what it is, oh, bro. This is a car Michael highs. Oh, my mama, if you looking for bars, get these hoes. If you looking for some grips, these Pro Taper grips feel crazy, bro. They feel like football gloves. Get these hoes. If you looking for some levers and you got the 2021 KLX, get these levers. It's 2021. What y'all waiting on, man? And I can't do my dance because my parents yeah. say, oh, they be friends. So that bitch dance. Coffee <laughs> Uzi. All right, my boys, what's good? You already know what it is, man. It's sold out, and I'm gonna get right into the video, man. I'm here today to install my levers on my bike, my new handlebars, and my new grips, and you already know how we get down. You feel me? We finna get right to it, man. No questions asked. If you got questions to ask, ask them in the comment section, and that's about it. So when you start, you wanna start by uh, loosening pretty much the clamps that are around everything so you know your mirrors your brakes ignition you know your turn signals and everything you just want to loosen up everything that way they're ready to come off when you get the handlebars off all right y'all so i don't know if the size are the same for every bike but for me mine's is a 10 millimeter to, to loosen up the my clamps on everything and as you see it's loosening up already I believe that's a, actually an eight millimeter. So let me see. Yeah, this is the eight millimeter. I believe these are, I believe these are a uh, 10 as well. Yeah, these are 10. So the handlebars are 10. This clamp is 10 for this mirror. This clamp is an eight millimeter for this mirror. Um, and then I'll, get back to you with the kill switch and you know this okay guys when i took out the screw i noticed there was a little spacer in between so you just want to make sure that you don't lose that part okay so one thing i did notice is that it's kind of hard for me to get these back bolts off which is one underneath two right there so i'm gonna take this off first and this is just a phillips two so that should be pretty easy to take off. Okay, y'all, now that I got this part off, I can finally get my uh, screws off from the bottom there. So I'm gonna take those off next. And then we one step closer to getting them off too, you feel me? Now, I heard a lot of people say, you can get these grips off with some uh, air. So I got me a can of air. Hopefully just get this off. Uh, if not, whatever, I'll find another way to get it off. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I can get this off, y'all. I took out the screw and it's just loose, so I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna take off the grip and see if I can just pull it off, you know? <sighs> okay, y'all. This didn't work, so I'm resorting to the pissed off way. I'm finna get a razor blade. I'm finna just try to cut this hole off at this point. So, yeah, pretty much. I just took a razor blade and I just sliced it all off, and now you can just see all the disgusting glue underneath it. Ew. But, yeah, just take a razor blade, y'all you will get it right off so i guess everybody missed the part where this shit is hard as hell to take off bro if they use glue bro it's so damn hard to just look at this bro i'm ripping it to shreds they glued it like look at that bro and it ain't like no average hard to take off like the other grip came right off look at that glue and this what they put on the throttle tube man bro it's so much glue it's so hard to take off bro it's, I've been working at it for like five minutes now. That took me 30 seconds, five minutes. So, y'all boys definitely be aware of this one, man. They out here gluing them hard as hell. Look at this. I can barely get this off, bruh. So, yeah. Something to look out for. Got my phone on 1%, but hopefully you get this. This is pretty much what it looked like once I opened the kill switch up. All right, y'all. So, I got a good amount off now. I got this entire side off. My throttle tube is over there on the ground. I changed out one of the things already, which is pretty easy for the brake. Um, it wasn't like really no lines or nothing to disconnect, so. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Now I got everything off. Finally, my bars are bare. Um, I'm gonna grab the, I believe, what did I say, 10? Yeah, I'm gonna grab the 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take these four off 
and then this bar should be able to lift up and I should be able to put my new bar on. So what's up YouTube man, just got off work, it's the next day bro, I'm not even gonna cap. I did not really take much footage of me finishing putting it back together just because I was having a little bit of a problem. But I will say that I ain't even trying to show y'all nothing yet, you hear? I will say that it was pretty easy once I figured out what to do. So when y'all taking off the throttle tube, that's the only part I had a problem with. Everything else that I showed you, just follow those steps. Look at the video and reverse if you need to, if you don't know how to like put everything back together. But other than that, uh, the throttle tube is the only thing I had a problem with. I just looked up a quick my five minute video. Then I realized that pretty much the way you want to do it is you have the bead and you have the actual tube. Everything should line up inside the housing, if that makes sense. Like everything will line up inside of this part. And then it'll all come together. So yeah y'all you already know what time it is i'm going to show y'all i ain't even gonna waste no like i say ever i'm not gonna waste no time with it here just wait all right y'all man so we finished up the bars the grips and the levers my boy mike helped me out he holding the camera right now man say what's up to him mike no moderate mods man. moderate mods subscribe can't see the yeah, back going to <laughs> his channel man but yeah my boy helped me out and i finally got this bike finished man and i'm telling you it actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> I know it sounded like I was gonna say it was hard. It actually wasn't that hard. It took me like two days, but it was like because I worked both days. If I had a weekend, you know, I would've finished it up quick. Anyways, you already know what we came here for, man. Show them, man, show them, bro. I can't even hold it in, show them real quick. Hey man, appreciate y'all boys for watching, man. You already know how we coming out, man. Y'all seen the stock bars turn to the the boss bars, stock bar the boss bars, yes sir. So yeah, man, it was pretty easy. Took me one day. It'll take you about maybe if you consistent, it should take you about three hours, and you could probably get it done, even less than that. But man, you already know, man. To end this video, we finna hit some willies down a block down uh 12 o'clock avenue let's get to it See what it is. That clutch works crazy. I see what it is, oh bro. These are Carmichael highs. Oh my mama, if you looking for bars, get these hoes. If you looking for some grips, these pro taper grips feel crazy, bro. They feel like football gloves. Get these hoes. If you looking for some levers and you got the 2021 KLX, get these levers. It's 2021, what y'all waiting on, man? And I got that all on film.
Good God. Good God.